the main goal here today we work your hips up as far as you can to the point you feel like your hips are working since you're welcome to moving mango and welcome back to our three focus build it series today we are going to focus on your arms your legs and your hips so if you're ready just draw your mid and let's begin Alright, now let's start to strengthen your hips first. So, I wanted to inhale and lie all the way down on your back. Now, arms along your body, pull the belly button in and press your whole shoulder blades down. Reach your hands toward the heels and open your legs if it's apart. I wanted to make sure that your knees always facing up to the ceiling and don't open or bring it towards each other. So, lift your legs up, activate your feet. And I wanted to inhale slowly, bring one leg down to the mat. And exhale, come back to the opposite side. So 10 times with your own breath. Now listen to your hips here and we don't have to go so far. So just as far as you feel comfortable with your hips here. Make sure you keep your back in neutral position and pull the belly button in. Now don't arch your back like this or don't press your whole lower back down to the mat. Just keep it in the middle at neutral position. So keep breathing. I'm going to try to do it for 10 times to each side with your own breath and don't change the angle on your knees so at 90 degrees now inhale and exhale inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth pull the belly button all the way in very good keep breathing eight and seven to your left bring it up and down with the same speed six keep breathing and to the other side squeeze in the thighs if you can five Shoulder blades down, make sure you engage your core. Four, belly button in. Beautiful. And three more times, you get your own breath. To the opposite side. Now last one, inhale and exhale. Come back to the other side and slowly bring it back. Hug your knees to your chest. Shake your hips a little bit. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees and keep your heels and your knees together again. Now your knees on top of your hips, arms along your body for more support. I wanted to inhale and slowly open your hips wider and then come back so your feet still stick with each other. Inhale and exhale, squeezing the thighs 10 times with your own breath. Now engage your core as much as possible and always keep your knees on top of your hips here. So if you move it further away, you can work on your core at the same time. And so I want you to really listen to your body and find the position, the modification that you feel like comfortable with. So activate your feet here for 10. Keep breathing, squeezing the thighs, 9. Inhale and exhale, come back, 8. And 7. 6 more times with your own breath. Contract your pelvic floor muscles by imagining that you're trying to stop the urine flow here very good and three keep breathing try to open your knees as wide as you can and come back slowly with your breath last one and slowly open your heels your toes your feet wider and keep your toes your knees together now i wanted to inhale and slowly move one leg further away and then come back so to the opposite side the distance between your heels towards each other always bigger than your knees so I wanted to inhale and listen to your body. Don't have to stick your knees all the way towards each other. Just really listen to your body and find a good modification or variation is here for your body. So pull the belly button in and always keep your back in neutral position here. I'm going to try to do it for eight more times each side. Press your whole arms down to the mat. Seven. To the left. Inhale and exhale. Come back. Six, keep breathing, squeezing the thighs. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Five and four, belly button in. Always activate your feet. Engage your core. Three, squeezing the thighs. Very good. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Two, and last one. Inhale, come back to the opposite side and slowly hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. 
and when you're ready i wanted to lift your legs up to 90 degrees again now open your both legs to the side and i wanted to engage your core arms along your body lengthen one leg towards the front and then come back to the opposite side and back to the center so pull the belly button in and make sure you just point it up to 60 degrees here you can lower your legs a little bit and you can feel your lower abs work at the same time so really listen to your body and the main goal here today we work your hips so as far as you can to the point you feel like your hips are working press both hip bones down to the mat and stabilize your hips here and eight to the opposite side reach a little bit further this one pulling your leg away from your hips so keep breathing inhale and exhale to the opposite side and five more times here with your own breath to the left squeezing your thighs three four to the other side and three keep breathing to the left and two inhale and exhale and last one inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and slowly hug your knees to your chest again straight your hips inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply one more time all right now for the next movement just bend one knee down to the mat and lengthen your opposite leg up to the ceiling dorsi flex with your foot arms along your body now i wanted to inhale and bring your leg down just above the mat and open your knee to the side come back and lift so two precise movement here down knee rotate and back to the center and then lift so eight more times you get your own breath keep breathing belly button in seven inhale open come back six keep your foot dorsi flex squeeze your thighs five bring it down slowly rotate come back and exhale come back slowly four belly button in press both hips down to the mat and really keep your back in neutral position here three inhale and exhale halfway come back and two more times take with your own breath now last one inhale and open come back and lift and slowly bend your knee down to the opposite side so lengthen your opposite leg up down see flex with your foot you don't have to go so far just you can always bend your knees 90 degree here if it's easier for you so inhale and bring your leg down open come back and up if you bend your knees then it's going to be like this down with the same angle on your knee open your knee come back and lift and we're going to try to do it for eight more times with your own breath i'm going to try to lengthen my whole leg towards the ceiling and then come back inhale down and rotate come back lift very good keep breathing pull the belly button in and six and five more times with your own breath four belly button in keep breathing and three inhale and exhale and two more times with your own breath now last one inhale and exhale and slowly hug your knees to your chest shake your hips and deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth all right now the next movement i wanted to allow yourself to open your knees as wide as you can and bring your heels towards the hips as close as you can now pull the belly button in and i want you to put your hands on your hips press your hips down to the mat activate your feet now inhale and slowly lengthen your legs so your knees still facing towards the side and then come back to the opposite side and back to the center leg we're doing some ballet here so really smooth and really precise here reach your breath inhale and exhale come back and eight pull the belly button in to the left press your shoulder blades down don't make any tensions on your shoulders beautiful inhale six keep breathing come back to the opposite side try to open your knee as wide as you can four squeeze your thighs very good keep breathing and three more times with your own breath and two inhale lengthen exhale come back to the opposite side now last one <sighs> to the other side and slowly bring it back hug your knees to your chest now bring your legs up to 90 degree arms along your body 
open your legs wider and then come back so keep your same knee angle at your knee here open activate your feet and back to the center for 10 keep breathing 9 belly button in 8 beautiful 7 6 and 5 4 belly button in 3 keep breathing and 2 more times look at your own breath and the last one and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips and you deep into your nose exhale deeply to your mouth all right now the last movement for this hips part so keep your feet toward the center as close as you can we're gonna try to bring your hips up so try to keep your feet at the point that you feel okay and feel comfortable with your lower back now pull the belly button in arms along your body you can inhale and slowly lift one leg up to 90 degree dorsiflex flex and draw your hips up and make a little pause here for 10 9 8 7 6 shoulder blades down for 3 2 1 and draw your hips all the way down really engage your core to support your lower back here to the opposite side stabilize your hips and keep it balanced 10 times here so lift it up make a little pause again for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 two one and slowly draw your hips all the way down all right very good now i wanted to inhale and slowly lean on one side to sit up and we're gonna move to the arms part so lengthen your spine sit tall with your back in neutral pull the belly button in and now inhale slowly open your arms to the side and i wanted to inhale start to rotate your wrist first fully to four directions and then reverse now point your fingers all the way towards the ceiling so inhale start to make a little pose with your whole arms belly button in if you feel it's more comfortable you can always bend your knees and sit tall with your back in neutral you can also sit on a pillow if you need even more support so keep breathing five four lengthen your arms three two and last one palms facing down to the mat lengthen your wrist here now i want to inhale bring your arm towards the front and then open so we're going to try to do it for 10 times with your own breath keep breathing pull the belly button in shoulders far away from your ears nine eight seven very good six keep breathing and five four belly button in three inhale and exhale come back and last one and now keep your arms you don't drop your arms yet now i wanted to inhale and slowly bring one arm towards the front and i wanted to slowly lift your whole both arms up and then down 10 keep breathing nine eight make sure your shoulders all the way far away from your ears six five inhale and exhale down four three two and last one and now move your opposite arm towards the front and the this arm to the side so again lift and down for 10 keep breathing nine belly button in eight seven six and five four very good three keep breathing two and the last one and now lift your arms towards the side bend your elbows and palms facing towards the front i wanted to inhale bring your elbows all the way towards your side your body and then lengthen and 10 keep breathing nine eight very good seven keep breathing six inhale and exhale lengthen and four belly button in three two beautiful now last one and now slowly palms facing down don't drop your arms yet you're gonna try to keep your arms up for 10 minutes so you're gonna feel crazy burn but you love it i promise all right now from here i wanted to allow yourself to bring your arms towards the front here and palms facing down to the mat now slide back to open your chest and try to lengthen your spine here again open your back, knees bend your knees and sit on a pillow if you need to now i want to inhale and start to bring your arms cross each other and then come back to the opposite side so 10 9 keep breathing 8 
seven. Don't hold your breath. Lengthen your spine. And five, four, three, two, and last one. And now open your arm to the side again. Keep your fingers towards each other and point towards the side. I want to inhale and start to rotate like a tiny circle around your arms here. So pull the belly button in for 10, 9. For each count, I'm going to do twice. 7, 6. Belly button in. 5, 4. I know it's hard, but I really want you to try your best. And last one. And now reverse for 10 more rounds here. 9. Keep breathing. 8. Use your whole arms to rotate. And 6. 5. 4. Belly button in. 3. Keep breathing. 2. And last one. And slowly bring your hands on your knees. And lengthen it right away. Alright. It's just like a very quick rest. And I want to inhale. Lift your arms all the way up. Pull the belly button in. And then come back for 10. 9. Very good. Eight, seven. Use your whole arms to move. Six and five. Beautiful. Four, three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your hands down on your knees. Interlace your fingers all the way towards the back. So I want you to bend your knees here. You can lengthen your legs as long as you feel comfortable with your lower back. Sit on a pillow again if you need to. Now. Interlace your arms towards the back here. I'm going to inhale, lift your arms up and down for 10, 9, belly button in, 8, keep breathing, 7, 6, beautiful, 5, bring it down slowly, 4, 3, 2, and last one, very good. Now bend your elbows here and shoulders far away from your ears. Start to close your elbows towards the front and then open for 10, keep breathing, 9, Eight, seven, six, very good. Five, four, belly button in three, and two more times. You got your own breath. Last one. Now bring your arms all the way towards the front. And I wanted to inhale. Bring your arms all the way up and then down for ten. Keep breathing. Nine. Try to bring it as far as you can towards the back when you lift it up. Very good. And six more times here. Five, four, belly button in. Three, keep breathing. Two, and last one. And slowly bring your hand behind your hip. Now, chest up, shoulders down, far away from your ears, and bend your elbows here. Close your elbows all the way towards the back. I want you to inhale and slowly move your toe, so down towards the back here. Look towards the front, chin to chest and then lengthen your arms. So we try not to pull your chin up to the ceiling because it's going to cause a lot of pressure on your neck. You're going to try to do it for 10 times here. So inhale and exhale belly button in to support your lower back. Nine, keep breathing. Eight, go a little bit further if you can. Seven, really listen to your wrist here. Six, don't have to go so far. Always soften your elbows. And four, belly button in. Three, two, and last one. Now I want to move your hands further away. I mean, point your fingers towards the back, shoulders far away from your ears, and open your chest. Pull the belly button in. Now you can even lengthen your legs and press your whole legs down to the mat here. Put your whole forearms down to the mat. So your shoulders on top of your elbows here. Open your legs with the pad. Point your fingers. Your, I mean, point your toes up to the ceiling here. Now inhale and lift your hips up, chin to chest, and exhale slowly, bring it down. I'm going to try to do it for 10 times, you get your own breath. So put your shoulders far away from your ear, chest up, belly button in, 10, 9, chin to chest, look towards the front, 7, 6, and 5, 4, belly button in. Try to put your shoulders down a little bit more, and one slowly. Bring your hips down. Very good. Now lengthen your arms all the way up if you want more challenge. Otherwise, just do the same movement like before. So soften your elbows here. Open your legs with the pad and lift your hips as high as you can. Now make sure that you always engage your core. Don't make any tension in your shoulders here. So inhale, soften your elbows here. Press your whole palms down to the mat. And just hold it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four belly button in, two, and one slowly bring it down. Now you want to allow yourself to soften your elbows and lift your whole hips up one more time. And this time, bend your knees to press your whole feet down to the mat. Soften and shoulders on top of your wrist. So inhale and exhale. Try to bring your hips a little bit lower if it's easier for your lower back, but really listen to your body. Try to keep your hips as high as you can. Soften and chin to chest. So 10, 9, Eight, seven, feel it on your whole arms, put your shoulders far away from your ears so we don't want to feel it on your neck, you don't want to feel it on your shoulders, I mean your whole arms here, but like not negative feeling. Very good, keep breathing, not tension, just keep your shoulders far away from your ears. Two, and last one, slowly bring your knees down, hug your knees to your chest and rotate your wrist, and then reverse, you know, deeply to your nose, exhale deeply to your mouth. Lean on one side to do side kick series. Now, hands support your head. Pull the belly button in, shoulders far away from your ears. And I wanted to move your feet just a little bit towards the top of the mat. So we're gonna have like a better balance here with your hips. So I wanted to inhale, make sure your hip on hip, your hip not lean forward, not move backward, just really stabilize and keep balance here. Pull the belly button in, hand in front of your chest and shoulders far away from your ears. Now I wanted to inhale and slowly lift on leg up and now start to rotate your leg around your hips. You can always bend your bottom leg, your bottom knee to make it easier for you. So 10, 9, 8, slowly 7, 6, keep breathing and four, shoulders far away from your ears, two, and last one, reverse, so 10 more rounds here, tiny circle, nine, eight, seven, six, very good, five, four, keep breathing, three, two, and last one, and a dorsal flex with your feet, and plantar flex, so just keep your leg above the hips here, 10, nine, very good, eight, seven, pull the belly button in, and five, Four, three, two, and last one. All right, now dorsal flex with your feet. And I wanted to make a little pulse here. So 10, nine, stabilize your whole body. Only your leg is moving here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Now I wanted to inhale and move your leg all the way towards the front and then come back to the Central, so inhale and exhale, engage your core as much as possible. 10, 9, squeeze your thighs, you can rest your head all the way on your arm if it's more supported. 8, 7, inhale, keep your leg parallel to the floor. 6, squeeze your thighs, press your bottom leg down to the mat. 5, inhale and exhale. 4, Three, very good, two, keep breathing, and last one, and slowly bring your leg all the way up as high as you can and bring it down just above the mat for 10 more times with your own breath. Nine, eight, seven, six, keep breathing, and five, four, belly button in, Three, just bring it down above the mat. Two, stabilize your hips. And last one, and now slowly just plant our flex with your feet again. Lengthen both legs here, press both hands down to the mat. Now I wanted to do passe, like a movement in ballet, just very smooth and beautiful. So inhale, bend your knees, slide your heel towards the hip, and lengthen your leg, dorsi flex, and then down 10 times with your own breath. So inhale, and exhale and dorsi flex and bring it down. Make sure when you do that, your hips not flex your edge, just really stabilize, nine. Pull the belly button in, eight. Keep breathing, and seven. Inhale, halfway, exhale, halfway, six. And five more times, take your own breath. Four, lengthen, and down. And three, keep breathing, two, beautiful. And last one, inhale, lengthen, 
exhale slowly, bring it down, shake your hips into deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and now you're going to bend both knees to 90 degrees, engage your core as much as possible. Now activate your feet and open your legs as wide as you can. So lengthen your leg all the way up to the ceiling and bring it down and lift 10 times with your own breath. So keep breathing. Nine, very good. Eight, seven. This is the last movement for the psychic series. So I'm gonna try a little bit more, almost done. And five, four, belly button in. And three more times with your own breath. Two, and last one down, and lift, and slowly bend your knee, come back, shake your hips a little bit, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, let's move to the other side, to the psychic series on the other side here. So again, hands support your head, and lengthen both legs towards the front of your mat. So move your feet towards a little bit towards the front of the mat to have more balance here that way your whole body not in the straight and it's harder for the balance right so i wanted to inhale make sure your hip on hip not towards the front not towards the back just really stabilize here pull the belly button in inhale and exhale <sighs> higher rib cage and engage your core keep it in this movement hands down to the mat shoulders far away from your ears now lift your top leg up and start to Rotate a tiny circle here. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep breathing. Lengthen your leg. 5, 4, 3. Press your bottom leg down to the mat and slowly reverse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep breathing. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Very good. And now dorsiflex flex and plantar flex for 10. Keep breathing, nine, shoulders far away from your ears, eight, seven, six, and five, only your ankle is moving, four, belly button in, three, keep breathing, two, and last one. And now, dorsiflex with your feet, you can soften your bottom knee if it's easier for you, otherwise just lengthen to make it more challenging. Start to make a little pause here with your legs, so ten, nine, eight, seven six keep breathing five four three two and one all right very good now i wanted to inhale and slowly move your top leg towards the front and then come back to the center 10 times with your own breath so just go as far as you can don't have to go so far always keep your legs parallel to the floor 10 times here so nine more times with your own breath keep breathing eight pull the belly button in Bring it back slowly, just like when we bring it towards the front. And six, inhale, and exhale, come back. And five, press your bottom leg down to the mat. Keep your leg parallel to the floor. Four, <sighs> inhale, all the way towards the front. Exhale, all the way back. Three, belly button in. And two more times, with your own breath. Inhale, and exhale, feel your whole leg is burning. Two, and last one, and slowly bring your leg down, shake your hips in here deeply, and exhale deeply. <sighs> all right, now I wanted to allow yourself to bring your leg all the way up as high as you can and bring it down just above the mat for 10 more times with your own breath. Nine, eight, seven, six, keep breathing, and five, four, belly button in, Three, just bring it down above the mat. Two, stabilize your hips. And last one, and now slowly lengthen your legs. And now this time, just bend your knee and slide your hand towards the heel. You can always stretch your whole head down on your hand if it's easier for you. Lengthen your leg up, does your flex, and we do the passe here. So engage your core as much as possible here. Inhale and exhale halfway. Soften your bottom knee if it's easier for you. Lengthen and dorsiflex and then down for nine more times here with your own breath. Keep breathing, stabilize your hips. Eight and exhale. Seven. Lengthen. Exhale down. Six. Beautiful.
and five more times here. Inhale and exhale. Four belly button in and three. Keep breathing. Two. Very good. Now last one. Inhale and exhale slowly. Bring your leg down. Shake your hips a little bit. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and now I wanted to allow yourself to bend your knees to 90 degrees here. So, press your whole legs down to the mat. Make sure you engage your core to support the lower back. Activate your feet. Now, open your legs all the way up. Keep your uh, legs, engage your core here. Lengthen all the way up to the ceiling and then bend. Very good. So, inhale, lengthen and slowly bring it down and lift for 10 times with your own breath. So, inhale down. Exhale, lift, squeeze your thigh, stabilize your leg and your hips. Nine, keep breathing. Make sure you use your breath to control the movement. Eight, really feel your whole leg is shaking here. Try to bring your leg towards the front as far as you can. Seven, and six, belly button in. Engage your core. I don't know if you can see my leg is really shaking right now. Four, belly button all the way towards the spine. Stabilize your hips. Three, Press your whole hands down to the mat for more support. Two. Beautiful. Almost done, guys. Last one. And slowly bend your knees down. Shake your hips in here. Deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. And slowly sit up. So cross your legs. Or you can just bend your knees if it's easier for you. Lengthen your spine here. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Couple more breaths, inhale and exhale. And inhale one more deep breath and exhale. And slowly open your eyes. That's the workout today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell to see notification every day when I upload new video. I'm gonna see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye.